Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Thomas Blakemore. I teach travel and sometimes triumph. And this is going to be a teacher type of video. Now it's the end of the term and I was just about to start getting ready to pack, ready to go home to the UK. And as I was doing that, I was starting to get things ready and take things out of different bags. But I thought before I started to fully take things out and pack them into my new bag, I thought I'd break down what's in my current teacher bag and sort of show you guys what I take with me to work. Currently, as you may have seen in a previous video, I take these bags. It's a little bit much and it looks a bit ridiculous, but I have my camera bag just in case I want to film at school. I have a gym bag because my school has a gym and sometimes I go to the gym after work dependent on plans, those sorts of things. And then I have my main teacher bag. My main teacher bag is quite huge. I'll show you that now and then we'll have a look at what's inside the bag. Share down below in the comments section what you have in yours if anything is a little bit different to what I usually bring because that'd be interesting to know. This is my main teaching bag that I take to school with me. Now, some of you will probably be looking at this and think, Tom, that is absolutely massive. And yeah, to be fair, it is. So let's start off in the main section. In the main section, you'll find the main bits and pieces that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. This is obviously the side. There's not really much going on with the bag. It's got a side bit and it's got a main bit. There's an inside main bit as well, but it's hard to show you. So inside the bag, we have a bag. It's a laptop bag and I currently work with a MacBook Air that school provide me. I'm really lucky to do to have that. So that's the MacBook Air. It's like my workhorse bit, if you like. That's my workhorse laptop and I use it every single day at school consistently. So that's what I currently use in school. And what else have we got? Now, bear in mind that Dubai is hot, it's a sunny place, so some of the things that you're going to see are specifically related to Dubai and things that you might not find in your country, wherever you're from. So sunglasses, obvious reasons I need sunglasses. Now, this is one that I would definitely recommend. So this is a battery pack. I'll link that down in the description. I'd really, really recommend a battery pack and having one of those with you to hand. Um, it's really good in situations where any technology sort of runs out. I currently bring a multi-charging cable with me. Oh look, I'll talk about this one in a second. This multi-charging cable has a range of different tips on it. So that way I'm not carrying around lots of different cables. And I say it shouldn't get tangled up, but look what's happened. So these are my headphones. I currently use the Jaybird X3s and there's the little charging dongle on the side. And the reason I have those is just because if I'm doing an extended period of marking, let's say with English, then I like to just listen to some music. I used to do it back in the UK where I just have music blaring through a speaker. However, I soon learned that that's not really the uh, most polite way of playing music because some people don't like hip hop and stuff like that. So yeah, don't really do that anymore. Wallet, that seems fairly obvious. My school has a Cafe Nero and Cafe Nero loyalty reward thing. I filled one of those, yes. Charger, I feel like I need to get that one out of the way. That's obvious as well. In the mornings, I'm usually in quite a rush, so I quickly get ready, wash my hair, and then let it dry on the way to work. So then when I get to work, hair is something that I get at school. I don't know why, but I've accumulated so many ties. That's another thing that I do. I just put ties in my bag. I try not to wear them in the car again because it's hot and I'm not a huge tie fan. I put them in my bag and then obviously take them off and put them in my bag at the end of school. And then just put a shot on in the mornings and then yeah, ties, I've got loads of them. Tablets, teachers being around children all the time can pick up illnesses and things like that really easily. So. Having spare medication is always a good thing. Now I will note that my bag is like hidden away, so medication isn't accessible to the children, but I feel like you probably know that. Chewing gum, I'm a massive chewing gum fan, if you can say that, I suppose. I don't really know why, I, at the end of the day, I find it a good stress relief. I'm pretty sure there's some good evidence towards chewing gum reducing stress, but I don't know, I just, find it something that would keep my mind ticking. Now, as I've said before, I do have a gym in my school, so this is usually filled with protein, and then if I've finished a, a workout in the gym, or even like as a substitute for lunch, sometimes I'll have protein shake, which usually comes in this. Inside the inside pocket, see, I've got 
really random things. So lip balm, but I've probably not used that for like three, four months. So it is a dry country, but I don't really use that very often. Spare plastic bag, because why not? We oh got spare socks, again, why not? So front pocket, these are the things I just like to get out quite quickly. So we have marking pens, bits and pieces like this. Quite a few marking pens. Quite a few. And they keep going. No, that's it. Marking pens. Lunch vouchers, I feel like I'm giving some free advertising to Mastercut, but those are the lunch vouchers because I have school dinners quite frequently at school. Then I have my teacher lanyard. Uh, all right, let's cover it with school name. Look at that, for a picture. That is, is not good. In fact, some of the children used to say, Mr. Blaymore, why do you look so scary on that photo? And I was like, well, that's probably not good for a teacher to have that as their lanyard. So I've, I've sort of changed the picture and I've got a second card that goes in place of that. I've also got, as I said at the start, protein shake things. This is blueberry cheesecake, which isn't a bad flavor. So that's like the whistle stop tour of the bag. It's a really, really big bag, as I've said previously. Now, I'd love to know what other people have in their teacher bags. I've watched a couple of these videos and there's all sorts of different things. Now, I haven't got my notebook in there. That's something that I sometimes carry. I'm guessing it's in my uh, tech bag. If you want to see another video where I break down what's inside my tech bag, then make sure to hit the like button. If you hit the like button, then I know yeah, there's more interaction and people want to see that. I'd say my tech bag is a lot more interesting in terms of bits and pieces that I carry compared to my, my teaching bag. So pros and cons of that bag. Pro is I can put extra stuff in there so I can put all my gym stuff in there, trainers, and carry some bags home if I need to. It can carry loads, it's like a Mary Poppins bag. Cons is that, yeah, I, I missed a couple of things out. One of the cons is that I have this really big habit of just putting things in there and forgetting about them. So I've got some really random things like, so I've got lollipop sticks, which is a little bit random. And I suppose that's the negative of having such a big bag is that you'll put things in there and forget about them. So pros and cons. Let me know what you want to see. Do you want to see another video of my tech bag that's a little bit more interesting? Let me know what you also bring to school. If it's a little bit different, that would also be quite good to hear about. And yeah, if you've enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button as always. Thank you very much guys. Thank you for listening and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.